Wow, that was a really quick loading. Uh, hey everybody, uh, it's Kit, and welcome back. Um, full disclaimer, I have had very little coffee. I really wanted to play this again. So, let's get into it. Um, 7.40 on a Tuesday. Lena brought us some extra milk while you were out, so ah. I made us a delicious mushroom soup sure to warm our bellies. And you're, you're sure it had the right number of, uh, gills or whatever? <laughs> we're not going to start seeing things or frothing at the mouth? Oh, oh my no, if I god. Gave you something that made you see things, it'd be on purpose. Sweetheart. Oh, I'm just kidding, honeybee. Tara. You know, I have another chore for you that would be a great help if you don't mind of course grandma what is it some wood for the fire would be nice nights are still cold in the spring around mm -hmm. here could you go and find a couple of the big old logs lying around the farm chop them up for me and bring me the wood sure thing grandma uh, you're you'll not need this to get started the fungus among us <laughs> i love that Cream of mushroom soup. Oh my god. <laughs> Cream of mushroom soup made from grandma's recipe. A great way to top up your energy can be sold to Sophia. I ain't selling nothing. <laughs> you know it. <laughs> grandma asked you to chop some logs around the farm. Okay, so wood and chop logs. Why do I have three of these already? I just love the peace here. I guess that's why I've never moved anywhere else. Do you think that's strange? No, Grandma. I think it's peaceful here too. Well, Aww. maybe we're both strange. <laughs> nah. If you wander around the farm. Oh, okay. I love her hair. Also, sweetheart, you are not in any. Don't forget to water those potatoes every day. Yes, ma'am. You are not in any shape to chop logs, especially if you've never done it before. Oh, even the soil. Okay, that's great. You are not in any shape, sweetheart. No, we're not chopping that one down. I'm gonna let that one grow. I'm gonna hopefully it'll grow. Close. And we're gonna go meet with that guy this morning. Cause it's already nine. Ooh, crap. Uh, um. Also, my good friend Tiger informed me there is, in fact, a sprint just much later, which I'm perfectly fine with. Oh, look at the little bird. Oh, I miss our hummingbirds. They're basically, uh, they've left now to migrate. Okay. Actually, I wanted to talk to the redhead real quick. Ooh. Ah, hello there. Nice to see a new face around here. Hi, I'm Hazel Wilde's granddaughter, Tara. Oh. Hazel was so kind to me when I first moved here. Used to let me cut through a property to get to the old mine. Of course, that was before the supports in the entrance gave out. Mm. There's still good ore down there, I suspect. Or Oh, sorry. I didn't introduce myself. I'm Natalia, and I own the blacksmith. I can melt down ore into ingots and upgrade any of your farm tools for you. Nice. Oh, I can't talk to you. Or I must have already talked to her today. Okay. Thank you, Natalia. I... Sorry, forgot your name, honey. I'm sorry. Okay. Um. Let's keep going down and talk to Mr. Douchebag, as I'm probably going to start referring to him. Look at him. He looks so smug. Oh, yeah. This entire thing screams smug. 
Oh, hello. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. I am Mayor Otto Soft, and you must be the new I knew it. I mean neighbor. Uh, hi. Uh, yes, that's that's me. If there is anything you need, I'm the one to speak to. We're a friendly town here at Fairhaven. We want to make sure you're settled in well. To that end, we want you to meet everyone, so we've made it a little game. What? The fine Fairhaven folk will let me know after they've met you. Ah. That way, I can give you a prize after you've met everyone. It's really quite just like, please no. and progressive. <laughs> Plus, a little bit creepy. Yes, I agree. <laughs> You're funny. Stop anyway, laughing. Anyway, come and see me after Auto. you've met everyone. Uh, apparently, it's a game. Dot, dot, question mark. Yeah, grand. Lovely. All right, let's... Hi! Oh, you're cute. Yes, I am that Angus. Excuse me? Huh? Oh, I could tell you were wondering if you recognized me. No. I am indeed the Angus who was on an episode of Baking Battles. Oh, God, no. <laughs> Always nice to meet a fan. No. Oh, yes, I thought that was you. What with this being a, a bakery and all. Nice save, Tara. <laughs> yeah. I guess it's obvious. My little claim to fame. Bye. Bye. Just uh, get me out of there. Oh, that's not open. Okay. Hmm. Oh, you're cool. Oh my gosh, you've got to be Tara. Hazel's been hyping you up for weeks Tara now. Tara or Tara? Well, now I'm embarrassed. Don't be. It's sweet. I wish I had a grandma here to talk about how great I am. <laughs> anyway, I'm Violet. Pleased to meet you, Violet. We don't get too many new faces around here in Fairhaven, so let me know if you ever want to hang out. Two different uh, hair-colored people hanging out. Love that. Alright. Uh, yeah, let's just enter the school. I'm not interrupting their studies right now. That ain't, that is not happening. I'm not gonna be that person. Hi, I'm Tara. I just moved to town. You look just like I pictured. What? I'm sorry, what? Oh, uh, being Hazel's granddaughter, I mean. Oh, you are you creepy. Are... Been many things, but if it's a name you're looking for, folks here call me Shelby. Good voice actor. I'm leaving now. <laughs> ah, we know this man. I think. Hey, Parker. Quick question. Did the mayor oh! make you play a game to meet everyone when you first moved here? Well, Otto wasn't mayor back then. It was Violet's dad, Antonio Miranda. And no, I don't think he asked me to do that. It might have been useful, come to think about it. Some folks are harder to get to know than others. Hmm. Wait, all of that space in front? Hey, let's go this way. <gasps> oh, it, it was here! Oh, look how beautiful this is. Oh my god, I love this game. Um, yeah, so guys, this this might uh, this episode might be going up on like Wednesday or Friday. I I hope y'all don't mind. I I love this game. Okay, toadstool. As I recall, you can't actually eat these in real life. We're gonna chop this a little bit. Okay, we're just gonna explore for a little bit. Basically pick up what we can. I'm not chopping any of those down. Can you chop down a big tree? No. Can't fish just yet, I imagine. Oh my god, this is beautiful. I love this so much. Oh my god, that, that, that is so grand. Oh my god, who lives here? This is great. I can't get in. I love the trim! Okay, um, don't laugh, but I am 
taking a photo of this. I'm going to make this in Sims. No one come at me. <laughs> okay. There's a little bit of that left and that. Just fishing spot. Okay, so we're going to go back. Uh, see who else we can meet. I bet school's going to be let out soon. I like how in this game I feel bad for interrupting the kids during their studies. Ooh. There's whispering? What is that? Something spooky and weird is going on here. Yeah. Okay, alright, chill. Sweetheart, I know you're a city girl, but um, whispering happens in the woods all the time. It's not that big of a deal. The animals just like to chat sometimes, you know? You get a little closer to nature, you hear things. It's, it's completely natural. Don't worry about it. Hey, kiddos. Oh, Hello. makes sense. You're a stranger. <laughs> yes, I, I just moved here. I'm Tara. What's your name? Emmy. Well, now we're not strangers anymore, are we? She's good with kids. Hello. Are you my mom's new friend? Depends. Who's your mom? Lena. Then yes. Nice to meet you. I'm Tara. Nice to meet you too. I'm Finn. They're twins, Emmy and Finn. Okay. I bet you anything. Uh, hello. You look. You're Otto, aren't you? You're Otto's wife. Welcome. I am Vanessa Soft, no! First Lady of Fairhaven. Pleasure to meet you. How is your grandmother doing? She's... First well... Lady? To be honest, she's not doing too well. That's why I'm here. It's wonderful that you came to help her out. Do let me know if there is any way I can help. Okay, you're a little nicer than I expected. Okay, let's go chat with this person back here. Oh, hey, you're new here. I'm Sebastian. Who are you? I'm Tara. I just moved here to help out my grandma Hazel. Do you know her? Oh, yeah. Hazel's cool. Like, for a grown-up. Uh, I'll see you around. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, these two are teenagers, I think. Okay, that makes a little bit of sense. Okay, so they're siblings. About to say, is it? Dude, you left ten minutes early! Okay. Uh, welcome to Cafe Moretti. What can I get you today? Oh, oh you're pretty. I'm new here. I just came by to say hello. It does smell great in here, I though. knew it. I knew that was your daughter. Wait, you're Hazel's granddaughter. <laughs> welcome. Uh, I hope you come back soon. Moving always works up an appetite. Oh, where are my manners? I'm Sophia. Hey, Sophia. I'm Tara. It's nice to meet you. Okay. Bye. Gosh, the animations in this game are so good. Hmm. And who is this beautiful ah, creature I see? Oops. Uh, I, uh, uh, um, hi? What, uh, Ooh, what's that outfit? I'm Tara, that Hazel's thing right granddaughter. There. <laughs> Hazel told me her granddaughter was coming to town, but didn't mention that she was so lovely. Uh, are thanks. you hitting on me? <laughs> I'm Amira. The doctor here in Fairhaven. I've been taking care of your grandmother. Oh, wow. Thank you. I came as soon as I heard she was hey, sick. Hey, I'm sorry I'm interrupting She's your doctor's to appointment. Such a caring family. Uh, well, I mean... I forgot your name. <laughs> to be honest, we kind of fell out of touch for a while. I'm trying to make up for lost time. We can't regain lost time. But you're here for her now. That is enough. That is something else. Okay. Um... Is there anything down here? Yeah, there's a few things. So we're gonna run down here. What the hell? League of the Conscious Mind? Camp. Wednesday, Monday, Tuesday, 8 p.m. 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Okay. Oh, there's an entire graveyard here. That's, um, okay. Alright, that's fine. That's, that's, that's kosher. That's, that's fine. <laughs> that is Otto's house. I bet you anything. Okay. This is where I want my sprint button really badly. We're going to go back to grandma's. 
I'm Kim. Hi. Hey, Kim. I'm Tara. I just moved here from the city. Are you a oh. hiker? So what sent you screaming from the city? Dead end job? Sociopaths on dating uh, apps? Uh, okay. Shelby! <laughs> oh, um... Both, to be honest. Everything in my life kind of fell apart all at once. Yeah, uh, the city is truly a buffet of hot garbage, isn't it? I agree. <laughs> I know that shouldn't make me hungry, but it does. That's gross. We're on the butcher. We only sell humanely treated animal products. Right now, I have to source the meat from off-island. But we'll hopefully get a new rancher to move here soon. Cool. Nice to meet you. Forgot there was a butcher. Um, yeah, there's a way I can go up. Met you. Met you two already. You're closed. Ah, uh, yeah, we'll go the, uh, this way through. I don't think we ever came down here. Can't interact with the tree. So there's a couple people who live down here. This is neat. I have no idea if I'm going the right way. But I collected something. Oh. Seaweed. Ah! Yo! No. Do I didn't know you could get bananas. I must gather everything. God, the, the game, this game is so relaxing. Okay, not a bad way to go. I have no idea who else I am missing, so. It's gonna take a while, I think. But it is a new game. So is all of this our farm? Cause crap, if so. Oh, that wood looks nice and dry and ready to burn. Great. Thank you for doing that for me. It was no trouble. Phew. It was hard work, though. Oh, look at you. You're plum tuckered out. What do they teach young girls in the city these days, anyway? If you work too hard and don't keep an eye <laughs> on your energy, you're likely to pass out. But there's an easy solution. Good old-fashioned country cooking. Mm -hmm. Here's another serving of the soup I made earlier. It'll fix you right up. Vegan? Interesting. Okay. Return to Grandma. Yeah. Easy enough. See, a bit of food is all you need when your energy is low, and then you're right as rain. For a while, mm. you still need plenty of sleep. Even my cooking is no match for a good night's rest. I love Grandma. Grandma. You're the one who should be resting. I don't want you troubling yourself to cook for me. Ah, is that your way of trying <laughs> to get my recipe book? I don't think Did Tara knows Sophia how to cook. Put you up to it. She's always trying Tara. to get a peek at my recipes, but you can tell her they stay in the family. Okay. I hide my recipe book in the stove. She never thinks to Why look in would there. you say that? Just now? Go on. Try one. Okay. Well, which one is your favorite? I am quite partial to mushroom risotto. Okay. I need to get rice and mushrooms. Okay, well, I think that is gonna be it, huh? Okay, well, um, I guess for just a few more minutes, what we'll do is, uh,
see if we can gather any more mushrooms. I don't see any. Can't go over there. So let's just gather some wood. <clears throat> well, I am curious about something, so let's let's go over here real quick. Gather what we can, you know what I mean? Uh, this. Soil. Ooh. Okay, actually. What would y'all say if we cheated the game? <laughs> what if, what would y'all say if we did that a little soon? You know what I mean? Okay, I'm not gonna chop down any of the small trees. Did I not? Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Get another one of these. Oh, that did not. Get one more. I was worried it would click that one and I didn't want that. Okay. Ooh, look at that. Alright, let's get I kinda wanna No, we'll go to bed. We'll go to bed. I think I'm gonna play one more day. Then I'm gonna get up and do other things. <gasps> Should I go to bed? <laughs> yes. your allergies acting up? Oh, no, it's all the dust in the front room. But sweeping makes my back ache, so I've turned a blind eye for no months now. Makes but sense. that's exactly what I'm here to help with, Grandma. Then would you mind showing those dust bunnies the front door? There's a broom in my room you can use. Okay. You wait out here. Those dust bunnies have no idea what's coming for them. She's so excited to clean. She's from an alien planet. I don't understand. Okay. I'll have to move this rug to make real headway. Whoa. Ooh. Is that an actual trap door? Jeez, Grandma. What are you keeping down there? So, the trap door under the rug... Hmm? What is it for? Preserves and pickles? Or old machinery? It's not important, honeybee. Will you be out and about tonight? Probably, uh... but... Uh, could you fetch me some moonflower? It only <laughs> blooms the sunset. You'll know it by the white blossoms. See, my moonflower tea blend makes me feel so healthy. I get a blush on these old cheeks. Go right past Parker's workshop into the woods and oh, okay. you'll find what you need. I feel like I'm getting redirected here. I, at my age, it's <laughs> awfully hard to hear certain things. Did you put the rug back in place? Yes, Grandma, but... Uh, but are you brewing moonshine down there? You can tell me if you're brewing moonshine. <laughs> mm, I can already taste that tea. <laughs> that is normal. <laughs> Oh my god. Alright guys. Uh we'll pick up in the next episode right here. Oh, <laughs> I hope y'all enjoyed this one. <laughs> I can't, that was too funny. <laughs> oh, see you guys uh next week. I think I'm gonna put this up probably Friday. I don't know, Monday and Friday just sounds good to me. <laughs> <laughs> uh see y'all later. Bye.